What I want more than anything else in the entire world is fill in the blank because life would look like this. So answer that for yourself. Be unreserved about it, unfettered by excuses and reservations because if you allow that to seep in, then you're just lying to yourself. At best, you're being inauthentic, but you're just flat out lying, so don't lie. And then once you know what it is that you really truly want and why you want it and what life would look like and maybe what life would look like if you don't do it, then ask yourself this question. Is it really that important to me? Is what I really want important enough to me that I'm going to do whatever it takes to figure it out and learn what I need to learn and do what I need to do consistently until it happens? There's no deadline to quit. Skip that nonsense. Babies don't learn how to walk by giving themselves a deadline to quit or fall X amount of times until they just give up and decide to crawl the rest of their lives. So go back to when you were a baby if you can remember that far back. And if you can't, then look at a baby that's learning how to walk and they fall over and over again. They're constantly making adjustments and correcting until they get it. There's no quitting. So go back to that lesson uh, and observe babies because they could teach you more than you think. All right, so now uh, most people are gonna answer that question with, no, not really. Out loud, they'll never say that. People say, yeah, it's worth it. They're important to me. But then if actions and inactions speak louder than words, then we know that's not really true. Very few people find what they really want is worthwhile to do what they need to do because they're always rational. It's like, yeah, I'd like it, but no, there is no but. You're lying to yourself. So quit being a God blessed liar. So here's the deal. Here's all the magic in making something work. Um, if you really, really intrinsically love learning, then you're going to want to figure stuff out. And so now, whatever the reasons are that you saw as a perfect reason why you can't fill in the blank, suddenly becomes a perfect reason why you have to and you must because it's just something to figure out. You see, when you rationalize excuses and you become reserved about what you want, it makes you very lazy especially in the brain, because now you no longer have to think. You don't have to figure anything out. You don't have to think. You get to be lazy. You don't have to search for answers. You just get to be freaking lazy. And everybody already knows how to go nowhere. So you're not going to light anybody up by living that way, because everybody knows how to be a quitter or a non-starter, to give yourselves a deadline to just give up. Everybody knows how to do those things. And that makes you very common. So don't be common because being common just means that you're going to be disease riddled in, in your brain and in your life and you're not going to have anything that you want that's important to you. So don't be common in that context. Instead, be like, yeah, I love learning. This is just something to figure out. What? I don't have any time. I don't have any money. I got a family. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where to start. It's all just stuff to figure out. Great. I love learning. Let's figure all this stuff out. So now going from poor and lazy in the brain your brain is gonna open up to a rich and creative process of looking feverishly for solutions and then acting on them. And each action that you take is gonna teach you something, something that maybe, whoop, that didn't work out too well. And then you know not to do that again, or oh, that worked pretty good. And then you know to scale up on that and you make little tweaks and refinements as you keep going forward. And the only way you're gonna learn that way is by taking action, like right away being eager, willing and eager to get in take action quickly so that you can fail quickly and make mistakes and mess up because now you're going to have something to learn. You don't aim and then fire. You fire and then you aim and you recalibrate and then you fire again and recalibrate all over again just like that baby learning how to walk. The baby isn't aiming first or thinking about it. The baby is firing first and then oh, got to recalibrate over and over until it gets done. So you have to return back to that state of mind you're in when you're a baby. Before you started, you know, you, from a baby, we devolved into quitters. A lot of times we don't even start anymore. And we've always got the perfect reason. And that perfect reason allows us to shut off our brain so we can be poor and lazy in our head because we no longer have to think or look for answers. So cut that nonsense out and decide that what you want and why you want it and how life is going to be is important enough to you that you're going to love learning and everything that you see is just something to figure out. You know what I'm saying? My website is TomBirkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. Feel free to share this. It's a great message. Get it out there. And if you love health and fitness like I do and you love learning and figuring stuff out, feel free to message me about what I'm doing and what I've been doing for over a decade now that allows me to not have to have a job anymore and have freedom to do what I want to do when I want to do it. 
instead of worrying about how bills are going to be paid and all of that nonsense. And I'll show you what I've got, and it's up to you if you want to do it with me. Okay. Bye for now. And feel free to comment in this video um, some of your own goals and things that are important to you and why they're important and what you dream of that your life is going to look like once you do the deed of figuring it out and learning it. What's life going to look like? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Mwah!